At Sci-Fi Foods in San Leandro, California, this robotic system handles a unique concoction, cow cells. They're stored in liquid nitrogen till they're ready to undergo CRISPR gene editing. Scientists target a specific gene and cut the DNA to induce cells to behave differently. We do things like deleting a single base pair that changes the behavior of a gene, or alternately adding another copy of a native gene in order to get more of that activity. And through those really small changes, um, they add up to really new behaviors that are actually changing the way we think about scaling cultivated meat. Gora says up till now, researchers have typically grown beef cells by attaching them to a plastic surface, which takes up lots of space. Sci-Fi Foods has now made beef cells suitable for growing in this stir tank bioreactor. As far as we know, that these are the first beef suspension cell lines. How long do the cells stay in there? One to two weeks. And imagine and compare that to the idea of growing a cow. And you're not killing an animal, right? Yes, um, yeah, we're not. So the original donor animal is still happy and thriving, living in Ohio somewhere on a lovely farm. And so that cow wasn't harmed in the process. The final product is a burger that's mainly composed of plant-based ingredients, but with the addition of cultivated meat. This will make you one of the first people in the world to eat cultivated beef. One of the first people. And there's not a lot. I'm not sure exactly how many. Maybe it's <laughs> sub 100. Mm. And it's really good. Yeah. Now it has a lot of juice on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that from your the real meat that you have in there? Some of it, yeah. CEO and co-founder Mark says the real beef cells make Sci-Fi Foods burger taste far beefier. He says making cultivated meat has been costly until now. Our cell lines that we've engineered can be grown a thousand times cheaper. Are you worried by what the name Sci-Fi Foods and you know the perception that it's monster food? I actually got the idea for, for doing this 15 years ago reading a science fiction book. Right? But it is actually the sci-fi, kind of like the positive sci-fi that we used to dream about. Right? It's amazing that we can grow real meat without the need for killing an animal. That sci-fi vision has attracted $29 million in funding. Investors include heavyweight venture capital firm Andreessen Horwitz and even the rock band Coldplay. Sci-Fi Foods hopes to have their cultivated meat burgers served at restaurants within two years' time. Work New, CGTN, San Leandro, California.